this room is definitely my fave in the morning. So pretty. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. I am just about to set up put my laptop to edit the final clips to the last vlog, which you hopefully will have seen by now. If not, these are probably gonna go back to front. We've had a productive start to the day. I've put makeup on, I've had my coffee, which I'm hoping is gonna kick in soon because I don't really feel like I've had my coffee yet, like my brain has, is not waking up. I'm struggling to form sentences, but I think that might be because I'm quite tired. I was up editing this vlog until I think about midnight and then we were going to get up early and go for a walk. And then I was just like struggling to get out of bed this morning because it was just such a late one. I've got a lot of, I keep catching myself in the viewfinder. I've got a lot of highlighter on my face today. I was testing a new product and I, I actually love it. I love it. I haven't really worn highlighter for like properly for a couple of years i've just started again recently like i fell in love like you you guys will know that i fell in love with the charlotte tilbury pillow talk highlighter like a month or so back and since then i've just remembered what it's like to wear highlighter um, and my skin is getting better and better by the day so i'm really enjoying wearing it even more at the moment but yeah i'm really liking my makeup this morning i tried out the new dior products which i think you will have seen in my last vlog i unboxed those and oh my god the dior summer skin i love i used to love the dior do you remember the nude bb cream i think that was what it was called <laughs> I think it's such an old throwback product and I was thinking about it the other day and how much I loved it and then I was thinking about how it kind of it got discontinued and I wasn't heartbroken because it stopped being dewy enough for my skin like my skin needed more and the summer skin is basically the nude BB cream but it's maybe slightly less coverage but more glow is probably going to be my product of the summer like especially whilst we're in lockdown it's just like the perfect thing to kind of throw on your skin and make you feel a little bit more like pulled together but you're not like clogging up your skin i just think it's one of those lovely like at home makeup day products one of those lovely summer products but you can then build coverage on top of it so like i put the kevin aquan foundation balm on over kind of here just just anywhere really that needed like a little bit of extra coverage so you can really like use the glow from the summer skin and then kind of add coverage on top and i love it the bronzer wasn't my fave i did struggle because it has this big like darker circle in the middle and then like the orangey bronzer which i would have preferred around the outside I would have preferred that to be a bit bigger like if that was like a big like clown style bronzer i would have loved that i think it would be my favorite thing ever i need to test out the tanning water which i'll probably do this weekend because i tend to wear less makeup at the weekends oh yeah the eye eye thingy the eye contour i think they're called or something like that i can't tell if my eye makeup is transferring this morning can't see a thing need to go to the opticians when are they going to open back up who knows but yeah it's just gorgeous like the cream shadow is gorgeous and then the there's like a little brown kind of like soft liner and it's beautiful so really really loving those bits from dior thank you very much to dior for sending those over because oh, it was actually just a joy to apply makeup this morning i'm just going to show you a few bits that i've been enjoying actually whilst i'm talking beauty because might as well okay this is the cupboard of doom I'm really not enjoying this. I think eventually I'm going to get this unit swapped out for drawers because I hate cupboards. They're just so impractical. So for those of you that haven't seen my last vlog, this is the Dior Forever Summer Skin. Love. Love. I can't tell you how much I love it, honestly. I also used this highlighter today. It's the Iconic Highlighter. I also used a bit of this as well. So there's just so much highlighter on my face right now and I'm not mad about it. But the other bits I've been loving i can find them this from bobby brown it's a cream blush or which i might have just stuck my nail in this is gorgeous so i used this ages ago and i've just picked it back up it's the pot rouge for lips and cheeks in powder pink i'm really enjoying that then we have this that i'm also really really enjoying it's the laura mercier tinted moisturizer it's the illuminating one love that but it's way less glowy than this this is actually i think my preferred out of the two fingers crossed this doesn't break me out because i'll be heartbroken new mark jacobs beauty mascara and very very good mascara still absolutely loving my bare minerals lash topia though that is my number one i've got two of them old one and a new one because i like to use the old brushes to get more like definition and flutter this is the dior shadow color and contour for anyone that didn't see my vlog yeah this is what it looks like it's double ended it's so great apparently it's waterproof as well so i'm gonna be the judge of that I'll try not to get that on my floor and finally it would be right at the bottom i've been loving this lipstick from bobby brown this is i think this is ballerina pink or something like that yeah ballerina pink i love this i bought this so long ago and i've just started using it again it's like the prettiest pink color i'm actually gonna pop some on now 
because I went for Dance Floor Princess by Charlotte Tilbury today, but I think it was too nude for what I wanted. So nice. But yeah, I've been loving those. Right, I need to get on and send this video over for sign off before it's late because I don't want that. We don't want that. much because it is about a billion degrees today i would normally wear this skirt i think with a black body or any little kind of crop top in general but today i've paired it with my black bikini i've gone for this one rather than a kind of deep v-neck one just so it's a little bit less booby and also the lines on this really complement the kind of line across the skirt and i've also got my high-waisted bikini bottoms on underneath this is a set from asos i think it's asos design and i love it i've had it for years they keep recreating it over and over i think now they make them out of like recycled plastic as well which is quite cool this skirt just pairs so nicely over the top and it's a perfect like lounging around at home when it's really hot kind of outfit i've paired it with my chanel sliders and i've got a little pair of gold simple hoop earrings on i think these might have been from top shop like mm, quite a while back i think i've had them since like 2018 and then i've got my usual pandora rings on my fingers and that is about it my hat goes really nicely with this outfit basically i just make sure everything that i'm wearing goes with this hat because it keeps my face out of sight of the sun and i love it now i'm giving myself a real hat like once the hat is on it basically doesn't come off for most of the day if i spend a lot of time in it but yeah the skirt is and other stories i love it it is gorgeous i'm waiting for it to come back in stock in cream because that will be beautiful. So I'm very impatiently awaiting the arrival of my kitchen bar stools and to pass the time, I've been trying to decide if there's enough space at the end of my bed for an ottoman and then having the chandelier up here kind of dangling over it. What do we think? Four poster bed, which may potentially kind of clash with this a little bit, or a Chesterfield style bed, maybe like a king size, because you can really see how small my bed is in this space, with an ottoman at the end that kind of matches, but maybe not an exact match, because I don't think that's the vibe. Hopefully there'll be enough space to walk through here. But yeah, hopefully that would still leave enough space. I think I probably need one that comes all the way to the end to make it look a bit better. Obviously this is just an example, because this one doesn't live here. This actually lives in my like porch right now and it looks so cool. yesterday i actually ended up having a couple of work calls that ended up taking quite a long time and then it was an upload day so i was uploading yesterday's video and i had a presentation which i still have not finished but i am working on so i didn't really get the chance to pick up the camera and speak to you my chairs also didn't arrive yesterday so fortunately they have arrived today and i'm so so happy with them but yeah there wasn't really much to update you on yesterday not a lot happened but this morning i got up and i've kind of been starting my day slightly differently since i moved i basically potter around the house rather than rushing to get up and do something even if it's like a workout and having a very very structured morning i've been trying to have a little bit less structure in my life but in a really good kind of way so i literally just got up make coffees for us potted around started clean i literally cleaned the whole house top to bottom and it was actually a really good way to pass the time because i am really glad i didn't like just try and start vlogging straight away because my face was actually super puffy like my eyes were so puffy because we had a chinese last night we tested out the local chinese and it was so great but very very salty so you can still kind of see like under my eyes are a little bit puffy and i have plenty of sleep so i know i know what that's from so this morning gave me a breather to kind of get my face back to normal i also sprayed a little bit of the dior tanning water 
on this morning to test. I'm not looking super brown, so it either takes a while to kick in or it's a very, very subtle look. But I need to get some makeup on my face now. Just feel like I haven't really like done my day unless I've got some makeup on my face. So I'm gonna do that. Oh, and I obviously need to show you my bar stools. I think you've kind of seen them a little bit earlier, but this is how they are looking. I've literally just been sitting here kind of going through emails and I just love them. They look so smart. They are a little bit kind of scandy, maybe more so than I would have liked, but it's so hard to find good bar stools that work with this kitchen, but that aren't perfectly tailored to this kitchen so that if I ever redo the kitchen, I have to buy new bar stools. So here's hoping that these will be in my life for a very long time, but they are the best quality bar stools I've ever, ever known. Like I've sat on a lot of bar stools in my life and these are great, they're so sturdy and actually very, very wide. If you're wondering about the size that I went for, I've linked them in the info box below, but I went for the 65 centimeter height and the website was actually really great. These are from Bycree if anyone's wondering, but they give loads of advice on the best height to go for for your bar height. So yeah, I found that whole experience of purchasing through them very, very good. So that is how the whole kitchen is looking. Ikea step is an essential here because I can't actually reach the top cupboards. So that is super, super handy, especially for the shelves up the top of these two. And then we have my gorgeous flowers from Lauren, which I'm still enjoying so much. I gave them all a new set of water and a trim earlier and I've got peonies in the other room as well. I feel like I really woke up like two, was it two days ago? I can't even remember when it was now but i woke up i think it was the start of this week and i just loved it here and i didn't really feel like that before i was still very much settling in but i'm feeling really really good now so yeah just loving the house like even though it like this kitchen i feel like there's been a lot of questions on the video that went up yesterday i feel like i have mentioned it before but my videos are very long so i really understand that you all don't like remember everything so i'm just sorting my hair out by the way i'm also not naked i feel like you can't see my dress in uh, this shot but a lot of people did ask if i chose this kitchen and the answer is no i actually don't know what i want to do in terms of a kitchen design and this will probably be something that i sit on for well over a year i think at first i was like i'm never going to redo this kitchen i'm not going to bother because i'm not going to be here long enough but i think given the practicalities of everything going on in the world at the moment i will probably be here longer than i initially anticipated and i'm fine with that because this house has so much potential for me to kind of keep myself occupied in for a very long time without getting bored but i was thinking god this floor has got to go and then i was thinking oh do you know what i'll probably if i stay here five years i'll probably end up redoing the kitchen so yeah it is a possibility but i really don't know at this stage what i would want i think some kind of mixture of white and wood but we'll see how i get on and what i learn whilst kind of doing elements of the house i think i'm pretty much done for like the immediate future at the moment. My next stage is like windows and doors and stuff like that. But yeah, I'm not starting on kitchens or bathrooms anytime soon. The bathroom, to answer the questions, I also didn't pick the bathroom. I'm not the biggest fan of grey. I need everything to be quite bright and light because we don't get a lot of sunlight in the UK and it's such a mood booster when any light hits a white wall and I just think it's so versatile. You can really, you could add panelling and go very like kind of traditional or you can go rustic with it like there's so much that you can do with a white whereas there isn't so much that you can do with a grey and it just is a bit gloomy so that's why I love that there's like a skylight in this kitchen up there can you see it because it just brings so much more light into the space and the same with the bathroom it's very very light so those rooms have been left grey for now and I think they can take it for the foreseeable but this would definitely be a room that I would like to play about with I think and maybe even like extend down because there's so much space here i think this would be a nice area to kind of have everyone when i like have the girls over for takeaway this would be a great area to have somewhere that we could sit that's all like squishy and nice because i do plan on getting white sofas for the living room and that is not going to be the space for pizza mm -mm. the bedroom by the way is also now completely clear i am so happy I have my zara order which i'm going to take you through in a little bit it's definitely homey like it's lived in but yeah we now have clear floor space and it's all nice and clean and I'm so happy. I'm really, really happy in particular with this Ikea chest of drawers. Even when I have a little bit of mess out in here, it just makes everything look so clean and I definitely plan on keeping the top of it very, very clear. Definitely need to get rid of the shelving though here. I might add shelving somewhere else. I'm just not sure. I'm not a lover of open shelving, but I think if done right, it can be great. It's all come together in here and I'm very, very happy. 
Also, this is the dress I'm wearing. If anyone is wondering, it's not the best fit on me because I did take a chance. I really love this dress and it wasn't available in my size. I got it from and other stories and it does have some bowing. It's basically got corset stripping, you know, where you have like metal or I don't know, some kind of stiff material here it actually bows out because this is a size 12 and it was sold out in literally every size except that so i was like i'll give it go i'll see if i can have it tailored if i really really love it because i wouldn't want to miss out on something that is super gorgeous but it is a gorgeous dress like i love these style of dresses where they have the cutout but usually they have sleeves and i just think it kind of swamps me when i wear a maxi dress being five foot two it just doesn't really work and obviously this is probably meant to be a midi dress because short girl problems I thought it was so unique for the kind of style that you would normally find with all of this like layering and bows and all of that and I'm not a particularly frilly person but this I just felt really worked because it wasn't completely swamping it's just super super easy and I love it and I'm sorry in advance if it is completely sold out it's time for me to get some makeup on my face very 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 excited to wear this again today I'm really enjoying this rolling with it i feel like one of my eyelashes on one side has just not gone as long as the other what do i need more eyeshadow on one than the other this is because i didn't use my ring light today that's how important the ring light is but it's time to unbox this Sara order which i've kind of dipped into a little bit but not fully so i'm really excited to have a try on and a bit of everything in it and show you guys even though there's like two things i think you've seen already some of the best things you have not seen so i'm very very excited first up from my zara little summer haul are these joggers yes yes guys these are joggers they're like a linen-y almost-esque fabric not a linen -y fabric i don't think but they have that kind of feel but mixed with the stretch and elasticated bottoms of a jogger so as you can see this is kind of like a ribbed texture but it's so subtle you honestly would not know that these are this comfy and this is something that i definitely see working for now and then for when we will have to go back to reality which is gonna suck but great for whilst you're at home i know not everyone is a fan of white i personally love a white trouser the only thing i would say about these white trousers in particular is that they're not actually white they're like an off white so if you pair it with a white t-shirt they don't match and that really bugs me honestly that might be a deal breaker after the zara coat that i loved so much last winter that was so difficult to pair with anything white because it just didn't really work and it's very annoying these look like the exact same color as the bed behind me now but if i put a white t-shirt on with this because that was kind of how i envisioned styling it it doesn't work so one to consider i also struggle with how long the crutch is on these it's a bit odd and you can of see the pockets through them which is slightly annoying but yeah i'm not 100 percent so these will probably go back okay, now this is cute i was worried for a second whenever the first item that i try on is a dud one i always get scared that we're gonna have a whole dud haul i love this this is so cute it's definitely more of a kind of dressy white dress but i just think it's so pretty it would be great for now if you're having like summer barbecues and stuff like that and you want to look cute or when you go back to work it's just a really simple classic little white dress i really really like this one it's a deep v but it's subtle and we like that i like 
the waistband i think it's really cool the sleeves are so cute and i love anything that kind of like accentuates my shoulders i know that's not everyone's favorite part to accentuate but it does bits for me which i have realized in the past like two years so loving that i've paired it with some chloe sandals just to give you an idea of shoes because someone called me lazy the other day because i wasn't pairing things with anything they wanted bags and shoes and jackets i was like where are you going i'm not going anywhere i don't know so let me know if you want to see like a whole bag and shoe kind of thing but to be honest i don't know where my bags are right now i have limited shoes so i'm kind of working with what i've got so yeah chloe sandals which i love but i think so many different kind of summer shoes would go with this it's a white dress it's versatile you know yeah it's so cute and it really brings out a tan as well which is amazing this top is an interesting one it's basically cute as long as you wear it low which is how i've started now but when you bring it up not so cute not so cute so yeah i brought this one much lower down i just think it's a little bit sexier when you kind of wear off shoulder like this and then i find that it actually doesn't widen the shoulders too much because you almost have this dip here and it's really really cute i've also as you can see i've missed a tuck there i tucked it into the jeans because it just is that awkward length i guess if you're taller it works but for us short girls it kind of comes down to about here and frills out which on these jeans just isn't the cutest so a tuck i feel like was necessary and a pull down so that the frills kind of like almost cover your boobs a bit and then you don't have this area just like really really tight over your boobs i just don't think that's flattering in any way this one's cute but definitely not my favorite white top that i've ever worn i don't think it's as no fuss as i would like this is so cute so cute and the thing i i need to say that i love about this top in particular is how low it comes and the fact that it's not a tucker in any way i had the most bloated belly from the chinese last night and then i also had some bread with um my breakfast and it has not done bits for me so this is like the most lovely summery eating a lot of food kind of top and like with the dress i was just talking about it has the kind of accents on the shoulders which just help to proportion you really well especially if you like wearing like mom jeans I find mom jeans are so difficult to style because they can make your bottom half look a little bit like bigger and then having that accents on the shoulders allows you to still get your wear out of your mom jeans but it just kind of gives you a little bit more shape so yeah i love it i love the combination of it with denim as well the blue is just absolutely gorgeous this one i think is a winner which i didn't think it was going to be when i took it out of the box i was like oh my god there's way too many pleats on this i don't know if i can hack it but so cute i just realized i forgot to do sizing so far so the joggers are a small the frilly top is also a small the frilly long sleeve top i believe is a medium there's no rhyme or reason behind the medium for this one i don't think i think it was just because of stock the stock and shopping on dar in general at the moment is an absolute minefield like nothing is in stock and the dress is a small as well two items from this haul paired together we have the famous zara body in a yellow this actually comes off slightly different when i'm looking at it in the viewfinder on the camera but it's like a sunset kind of deep rich yellow it's really really beautiful brings out a tan quite well i would say although i would say that if you are quite warm toned in your skin tone it might make you look a little bit more ashy just because it's such a warm yellow if that makes sense i always find like for example pastels are quite cool and i think that's one of the things that makes pastels make my tan pop so well and look so warm is because pastels are generally a little bit more on the cooler side but yeah this is more on the warm side so it does bring out a tan but it does make my skin i think look a little bit more ashy i've paired it with these gorgeous denim shorts which are also zara from this haul and i also have these in black which you will have seen i think in my moving vlogs i really like these shorts the only thing i would say about them is that they are button up and i always find button up versus a zip does this not all of my shorts do that and if you have the slightest bit of bloating it literally is like accentuated by that so it's something to consider if that is kind of like a, an area that you are quite conscious of i love the fact that they come down longer on the leg they have a nice little amount of distressing but not too much that's one of the things i really struggle with with top shop denim at the moment they're shorts actually i say at the moment every every single summer they just have way too much distressing way too much of the like hems just like fraying everywhere and i don't love it so yeah i really like these i love the cut of them at the back i just think they're like the perfect length at the back so i highly recommend these in terms of the length and the sizing is also really accurate as well i got a 10 and they fit 
really really well i think an eight would have been better around my waistline but would have then just been an absolute nightmare in this area but that's classic for my body shape and they're also an absolute steal at 19 pounds finally you will have seen this if you watched my moving vlog if not i'll link it below if you haven't seen it this new top is beautiful i have a similar one to this from urban outfitters but it's like a gray with almost like a silver sparkle like woven through it lots of you ask where it's from all the time and then i saw this one on zara and i was like oh my god i have one exactly like that but it's in a nude which is my favorite thing i'm so so happy with it it's a really great basic i have it in the extra small to small it fits really well i'm super happy with it and then we have the black shorts which are the same as the blue ones that i have in this haul just obviously black and i would say they're slightly more distressed as well which is kind of annoying but i'll sort that out really really happy to have a pair of black shorts that fit much better and aren't frayed like my fraying on my top shot ones is like that and i don't love it just great summer basics super super easy and comfortable to wear walk this morning and it's not done bits for me i'm not gonna lie but today is a no makeup day it has been a no makeup weekend my skin oh my door is flying open two seconds my skin is looking probably the best it's looked in a really long time these are showing up much darker than they are in real life but these scars are so close to being gone i've actually been in a bit of a funk this weekend i haven't really vlogged the past couple of days and normally i just kind of carry on carrying on you know i actually just haven't been able to i've been feeling really sad which i think is a combination of like pmsing and then just really really angry and really sad over the state of our world like it really comes to something when you have to sign petitions to get someone arrested for murder like what the what the actual <laughs> hell i'm trying not to swear because my video will be demonetized and it's not the time in the economy to be being demonetized but what the actual hell is the world coming to i just feel really sad and really angry i feel like i have so much i want to say but i'm really not very good on the spot i'm much better at like writing my thoughts sometimes but yeah i'm gonna leave a load of links to petitions donation pages in the info box below i will leave links to kind of news if you're not familiar with what has been going on at the moment with george floyd and so many others i would love it if you could just give it five minutes of your time it really doesn't take very much but that action is so important so if you could just literally give it even 60 seconds of your time just click it have a quick squiz sign the petition donate if you can obviously if you can times are not ideal at the moment for finances i understand but literally please just give it your time give it your action i know i influence you guys a lot to buy things and you know we talk about beauty and fashion here so much but i would love it if i could just on this occasion influence you to just give it a few minutes of your time that would make me so happy so yeah that is how i've been feeling this weekend just very i keep calling it fluky i don't really know if that's even the word i'm going to use but just very sad very emotional so yeah, I've not really vlogged very much. I've not really done very much. I've mainly been reading a book, which I'm definitely gonna recommend to you guys because I'm actually enjoying it. I wasn't sure after Silent Patient if I was gonna love something as much because that was a really great book, which I highly recommend. This one is called Now You See Her, as you can see. Basically it's two women. One looks after the other woman's daughter and she goes missing and I'm about here. So about halfway, just under. And I have to say, I've got a million theories in my head on what is going on. And it really is one of those books is definitely keeping me guessing. It's a little bit slow, but it's just one of those ones where you're kind of guessing whether you know the truth, if that makes sense. This one's just finished cleaning the bathroom or in the middle of. The reason I'm so happy that Ryan is cleaning the bathroom is because means i can have a bath later we're both very excited for that that bath needed a real good clean though after having the mirror installed in the bathroom it's just been really dusty in there and like you clean and the dust kind of goes up in the air and it settles again but i think we've cracked it and i'm very excited to have a bath anyway i'm gonna make this kind of quick because lauren's told me that this vlog is quite long already so i don't want to drag this out for too long but i did want to show you a little demo of how i use the saint-tropez 
purity water this is the self tan purity water I had quite a lot of questions on how i use it I also had someone ask me in relation to this but in relation to self tan in general about sunbathing and self tan so i'm kind of going to talk you through my process before i get ready and throw something on i'm going to throw something quite light on because i don't want to like get really hot and sticky today and sweat this off because it is very very warm i think i'm just going to throw on a tiny bit of the dior forever summer skin some clothes on do my hair tan obvs but yeah i'm going to do like the express version with you today just so we don't have like a 45 minute extravaganza on our hands I'm, back. I'm in my skins i apologize if my slight nudity offends anyone but this is the easiest way to show you how i tan without being in clothes and without getting like a ton of product accidentally on my clothes because I'm not that coordinated but yeah this is super simple so I generally do about four pumps an area I don't know some people might think that's like overkill this is what it looks like clear a little bit runny take a tanning mitt and then just literally buff into the area and this is actually surprisingly hydrating as well I didn't think it would be but i actually would say that i rate this more than the tan lux i think it's super glow body that's the one it's got hyaluronic acid in it and it's meant to be like hydrating and tanning at the same time i actually would say i prefer this this for me levels up to like the bondi sands aero liquid gold which i love but i think it develops slightly faster and if i had to rank them i would probably say bondi sands express for the sheer convenience of how little time it takes to apply not apply to develop but this is also great because you can just wear it so even though your tan always starts to come out around six to eight hours later this you can just wear and you don't have to worry about showering which is great but yeah i would say but no sounds error express if you're happy to shower because i think the tan is super dark as well it goes super dark on me and then i would say this i'm interested to try the mousse of this as well really, really interested and then i would say bondi sands aero liquid gold and then i would say tan lux i find of all of them the bondi sands aero and this give like it's gonna sound really weird like the least color payoff when your skin sheds which sounds really weird so none of the so like the aero liquid gold this and the tan lux give me any color on my bedding if i sleep in it i have found that the bondo sands express will make it pink if i sleep in it weirdly i guess because it's not an, it does have a guide color but the other three don't give any color when i'm like sleeping in my bed in the product but after i shower the product off and a few days later when your skin like starts to shed that's when i sometimes see like slight like orange marks i guess from when you're like sleeping and you're shedding skin but i just want that my bedding is still like white white with this so yeah this is kind of life-changing so yeah i buff it on literally in circular motions using my mitt so then it's not on my hands it's also great on hands as well once i'm done doing my whole body i then do my hand like this and you can use a brush for your hands if you want i don't find it's necessary with this one i have not found a streak a mark nothing what i would say this the one downside of this which i haven't found with any other tanning product yet i'm gonna put tan lux out of this equation because i haven't actually tested this but i've worn bondi sands tans and then gone like on holiday and had sun cream on and i haven't found it to like affect however when i wear sun cream i do find that this one tends to break down more even if i haven't got like a layer of it on i've like showered it's been a couple of days since i've used it i do find the sun cream on my skin seems to do something and leave some streaks which is odd but that is literally the only fault i have found and the tan lasts really well so i still think i have a little bit of build up from when i applied it last which was about three four days ago i'd say definitely four maybe five actually because i did my exfoliation not yesterday day before so it's been a while since i tanned last and i feel like it builds up really well stays on the skin forever i really really recommend this tan i would highly recommend trying it especially if you're not one that loves tan i think this is a great one for everyone really so yeah i feel like i'm out of breath uh, just seven minutes of me trying to like give all the information on a fake tan and i also just wanted to shout out to this this is the dior bronze liquid sun self tanning water my face is so brown and i literally am wearing spf 50 every single day i'm wearing my hat in the garden so my face does not match my body and this is the only thing that's making my face match my body but yeah i really like that i don't know i got sent it 
disclaimer, gifted, and disclaimer, gifted. But I don't know how much it costs and it is probably bank breaking and you can probably find better. Like the waters, spray waters of this for your face, of this, amazing. I prefer the Oskia Adaptive Tan Mist because I feel like it has the most skincare benefits out of everything. But I would expect this to be quite nice. I'm going to read up about it, but I really do feel like you all have the budget to make something really beautiful that has skincare benefits, but whether they did that with this one or not has yet to be seen. I need to read up about it because I literally have just like received it in the post, sprayed it on my face, been like, yeah, great tan. But if you want a good liquid tan for your face, like a misty spray water with skincare benefits, I would go with this. If you don't care about the skincare benefits, you just want a tan, I would go with the purity mist of this for your face because it is so good. So, so good. I think it's going to be my little outfit for the afternoon. The skirt is really light and floaty, so it's not going to kind of rub the tan off of my legs. And this top is actually way looser than it looks. It's just a really, really thin jersey top, so it's not like holding onto the skin in any way and the little straps are like very very loose also just attempted to do something with my hair today i always feel like making a little bit more effort when i'm not wearing any makeup well i am wearing makeup i'm wearing a little bit but i just think having done my hair always just makes me feel that little bit more pulled together i don't know why i care i'm not going anywhere but yeah it's a cute outfit regardless the sandals are from chloe the skirt is from and other stories so it's good quality i love the little elasticated waistband as well i think the top is old from pretty little thing and then my jewelry is my usual pandora ring set up also my nails are so close to being like completely grown out of all of the damage that my acrylics did i'm so excited so i'm going to move one of my chairs in the garden into the shade because i don't want to put any sun cream on my body today so i'm going to move one of my chairs into the shade and finish off reading my book but yeah i think that's going to be my afternoon i was going to bake brownies but literally started doing it and realized that i had no baking paper and can't be bothered to go to the shop and get just baking paper it's not really an essential is it but yeah i'm just gonna read my book have a nice chilled afternoon and i will probably see you in my next vlog love you bye